Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take a look at condensate pumps. And I have a nice cutaway here that shows the inner workings of the pump. We can see the motor and the workings in the bottom here. And what these things are used for is pumping water or condensate that are produced by say a high efficiency furnace or a heat pump or an air conditioning system or even wastewater from a, a humidifier and pumping that to an appropriate uh, drain location. So I'm going to take this out so we can have a look at this condensate pump. Now we have multiple openings here on the top so that we can drain multiple appliances, either the furnace, the high efficiency, the AC drain or the humidifier waste into this pump. And what happens is as the reservoir fills, this switch will rise and you can hear it. We'll close this switch and energize the motor. The water will get sucked into the impeller down here and blown out through this barb. And this barb is set to receive some vinyl hose, vinyl tubing, 3 eighths or quarter inch. And inside of this barb is a ball that acts like a check valve to prevent the water from rushing back down and overflowing the reservoir. In the front here, we have a normally closed switch. And what this is for, we wired into a low voltage circuit. And if for some reason the water wasn't draining from the pump, there's a secondary float here on the bottom that would open this switch, opening the low voltage circuit. Some people wire this to the R circuit, some to the W, some to the Y. It all depends on what type of appliance you have and your control scheme. Most people break the R circuit to shut down the appliance. When looking at, uh, I'm going to put some safety gloves on here. And I'm going to energize this sucker for you. And when the float rises, the pump is energized and the water gets pulled in down here and pumped out right here. These pumps are typically rated in feet of head pressure. And what that means is how many vertical feet that they will pump the water, 15 feet, 20 feet, 25 feet, something like that. Some uh, municipalities require that uh, the condensate be run through a, an acid neutralizer prior to the water being put into a municipal drain. This is typically the case when you have a furnace because the condensate produced by a high efficiency furnace can be acidic. So, this is a condensate pump, and this has been the Workbench series. I'd like to thank you for tuning in, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thanks for joining us.